Southern California is full of hidden gems, and we found one of them in a cemetery in Burbank. It's a tribute to aviation pioneers. My name is John Torres. I'm the director of the Portal of the Folded Wings here at Valhalla Memorial Park. My name is Les Copeland. I'm the president of the Burbank Aviation Museum. This is the Portal of the Folded Wings. It's designed and built by McDonald and Federico Giorgi, a famous Italian sculptor who has incorporated many wonderful faucets of, of a, a European craftsmanship in this building. The sculpting uh, on the side of the building includes each four sides are exactly the same and each four sides has 12 cupid faces including what we believe are Joseph and Mary on each side with an angel at the top and in the middle below the angel is a uh, torch of fire with hands grasping onto it. Uh, the, the arches are, are very uh, delicately sculpted. This is pretty much the sculptor's dream, I believe, and that's why he's buried right in front of the building. As people were to come in, they'd have this grand entrance. Well, that was a, uh, 1924 when this structure was finally completed. A lot of people are drawn to the beauty of the building. They come up to the back gates and just can't believe that this building is right here in the middle of the city. People are very inquisitive about it because there's really nothing like it around here. It is a memorial to aviation pioneers, engineers, uh, many people who are barnstormers, people who are involved in the advancement of aviation here, especially in Southern California. We were first asked to become part of the portal when it was being renovated about 12 years ago. At the time, they spent over a million dollars fixing up this building, renovating it to make it the beautiful specimen that it is today. In 1996, after uh, laying dormant the, for many years, the portal was revived and it was uh, placed on the Nas National Registry of Historic Places. Ashes are buried inside the, uh, interred inside the portal, are uh, quite famous pioneers. One individual in particular is Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor was the engineer, he was the machinist who built the motor for the Wright Brothers Flyer. Without him doing that motor, the Wright Brothers really would have never got off the ground. So it's important for people to know about uh, that third Wright brother, as it were. Along with Charlie Taylor, we have Bert Kinner. The Kinners built airplanes right here in Glendale. In fact, Amelia Earhart's first airplane was a Kinner. And we have a plaque here to Amelia Earhart, but there is a plaque here along with many others, including Billy Mitchell, who of course was famous during World War II. This is a P-51 home-built Mustang. It's a midget Mustang. Uh, built in Burbank by Hook Mason, and it uh, is FAA certified to fly. This is a beautiful model. About a thousand yards from here is where Lockheed Corporation and their Skunk Works facilities were manufacturing many of the military aircraft, one of which is the, uh, the infamous P-38, which uh, was part of why the United States had achieved air superiority in World War II. Also, the SR-71, as well as the uh, F-117 stealth fighters. Those are some of many of the uh, aircraft that were launched right here, uh, right here in Burbank in Southern California. Currently, we're working on a project uh, to commemorate the Challenger and Columbia disasters. We are currently working with NASA, Burbank Aviation Museum, in uh, restoring a, a model of uh, the space shuttle that we have. It's important for the community to, to realize and remember that when these uh, tragedies occur, uh, what these people are risking when they go out and, and try to advance uh, you know, aviation and going out into space and the different uh, things that people are trying to discover, that they're actually risking their lives. People come by, they see, they see the building from a distance and they're just drawn to it because it's, it's like a magnet. The beautiful dome on top of the building is very reflective uh, now that it's been renovated. And the, the, just the structure itself, it, people just want to go and see what is that. 
Being in a cemetery is also one of the strong points of this portal and the aviation museum that it contains. It's preserved and the cemetery will remain here permanently. It is a shrine to aviation. It is, I would say on the west coast, the only shrine to aviation. It's not duplicated anywhere. Even the Smithsonian has a fabulous exhibit, but they don't have a building like this. This is something very special for this area. The portal is open to the public. For details, you can go to their website program. I'm Val Zavala. For everyone at Life and Times, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Life and Times is made possible through the generous support of the L. Cave Whittier Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life by supporting innovative endeavors in the fields of medicine, health, science, and education. And by a generous grant from Jim and Ann Rothenberg.